It all comes down to this moment. Welcome, everybody, as you're looking live at a sold-out arena ready to kick things off tonight. Scores will be settled, bodies will be broken, and dominance will be established. And it all starts right now. And we're starting this card off with some fireworks. Let's do this. Singles match coming up next. Coming up is a battle that can end up anywhere. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Get ready. It's about to be a highlight Bombay, reel. Bombay, India. Oh, we, we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, nasty impact. seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, but even more difficult to contain. He's starting to stumble here, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, I'll try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Fist drop! Man, looks like he's starting to tire. This very well may be too much for him to handle. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. Back now inside the ring. Oh, shoot. 
no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. out here, especially when there are no countouts. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. Ooh, what impact. Things are looking bleak for TJP here. Tonight may not be his night, guys. So many bad things can happen outside the ring, and given his condition right now, he really needs to keep it inside the ring if he wants to win this thing. Oh, man, his family has to be concerned about him right now. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the This might be it. Oh, my. This one is over. We're going to take another look at this. I can watch this move over and over. are giving their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Boom, what impact! What a match! I don't know about you, but I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing on a Saturday night than watching this great match. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. This match has been 100 miles per hour since the open. Now to hurt DDT. Just when you thought he had nothing left. He wants no part of the outside. Leaping high! Set him on a beautiful side rushing leg sweep. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. can shorten careers, Michael. Around the world on the WWE Network, WWE fans are glued to their sets watching this match. Ooh, he's starting to stagger a bit. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. 
We've seen plenty of fireworks thus far tonight on this Independence Day edition of WWE programming. Reverses that one. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. A second time. DDT win. That has got to be it. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story. This is it. Beautiful technique. I think you're right. You've got to believe this one's over. Look at the height. No, he reverses it. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Beautiful senton. I hope everybody enjoyed their picnics earlier today. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and close out this Independence Day with some WWE action. And destroy your face. Back in from the floor. Somebody got hops. When this guy's on, look out. We've seen plenty of fireworks thus far tonight on this Independence Day edition of WWE programming. And TJP too quick that time. Showing some quickness there. I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Bringing it back into the ring. Fire. 
Boy, these superstars have been through it all here in this Extreme Rules match. Avoids trouble there. Crashing down the hard way. This might be it. Oh, my. Takes him down in a major way, too. So dangerous. I'll tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. Back between the ropes. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Oh boy, he is rolling. Back in from the floor. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put them so oh my God. Inside the ring. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Beautiful technique. Look out. it back into the ring. Give these superstars a ton of credit. I don't know too many competitors who can withstand the amount of punishment that they have. DDT! I'm not sure how much he has left. Let's look at the replay. Nice move right there. He might have it. What a moonsault! Incredible athleticism. Bringing it back between the ropes. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Boom! Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, moonsault! Man, did you see the height on that? Game, set, match. This one is over. Here we go a second time. Boom! That's the impact. 
That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? He's going for it all. Look at this. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. An amazing match so far, guys, but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here. He's in trouble. And if he hits this, this one's over. Oh, my gosh. This one's over, guys. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Cover, cover. Two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, Sam Boone. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. What's this? Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. for the finish. He's looking at it. Harsh impact. You've got to believe this one's over. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? This is not good. I don't think TJP knows where he is. The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, singles match coming up next.
making his way to the ring from the wasteland, weighing in at 130 pounds, Demon. Shifting gears now. I like what the? I don't think we're going to wait for the match to start. Oh, the referee needs to get control of this. What a punch! Boom! What impact! And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Ooh. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Drop down. Corey mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope. But Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on a table. The Viper became immortalized when he grabbed both historic prizes and became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. Check out Kink. He, hmm, I guess he, uh, Byron, you mentioned earlier that the only thing left to do when you're the only superstar in the ring is to quote, unquote, climb the ladder and win. But I can't help but wonder if the pressure becomes even greater when you have such a huge opening. You mean the yips, Cole? I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, it's not like these superstars are second basemen in New York. Incoming. Whoa. Unbelievable athleticism. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here we go. Everybody's on the outside. This is the exact moment this superstar has been waiting for. Irish whip. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. I'm not used to seeing this. If by some miracle he goes on to win this match, we'll be talking about this comeback for generations to come. Like Corey was saying, there's no better time to climb the ladder than when you're the only one in the ring. But as we've learned, that doesn't equate to automatic victory. Especially at this point in the match, Michael, climbing the ladder is not always the easiest thing, especially after you've had people pounding on you since the opening bell. All right, listen up, morons, especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for E and C.
Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each duo put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. Back in the ring now. This match heads outside. Things can go south real quick. Let's hope not. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Down to the floor. You gotta wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up with a victory. We've seen plenty of fireworks thus far tonight on this Independence Day edition of WWE programming. I wish I could tell you guys. Wow! Michael, that gives me meaning to have a seat. There's been a lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. I gotta say, when I saw this week's power rankings, I thought there was a misprint. There's no way this superstar deserves such a favorable ranking. Inverted power slam. Wow. If you're this superstar, you gotta be happy about where you're listed in the recent power rankings. A lot of people are questioning how this superstar got such a favorable spot in this week's power rankings. But not to me. Seems perfectly logical. Oh, what impact. Despite having an impressive spot in this week's power rankings, I'm told this superstar isn't all concerned with things like that. Byron, he looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. Driver! Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Inside the ring now. Now back to the ring. Whack! Michael, that gives me meaning to have a seat. Beautiful technique. Gets out of the way of that one. Oh, hanging off for dear life. And the slam. There's a lot of 
to talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. Boom! Right to the jaw! Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh, no. that had to hurt. Oh, and he reverses it. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. look like they're about to give out on him. Corey, you make it sound so easy. But if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring. Climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. What do you think? They're not going to just sit the counter here. Should do it now. That's how you prove your dominance. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in on this exciting Saturday night. We have plenty of WWE action for your viewing pleasure. Chair. It looks like a twisted heap. The tension, the drama, this is electric. Could very well be the beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. Now oh, it's Rampage! Lights out. Irish whip. If you're this superstar, you gotta be happy about where you're listed in the recent power rankings. are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner.
Things are obviously looking good right now, but let me tell you, climbing that ladder at this point in the match is no easy task. Yes! Unreal performance! That match deserves another look. Here we go. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on fire in this one. Here is your winner, Demon. Wow, now that's a commanding win. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. Done with one and on to another great matchup. Hear the crowd? They know it's time for things to get extreme. Making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars pounds, are very excited to have the, the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. Brian. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great.
and his opponent from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, Kirk. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> The WWE Universe is chopping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. You've got to believe this one's over. Position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. Boom, what impact! He's going for the pin. Digging deep for a kick out. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? behind that one. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for a tap. The end may be near, folks. This could be the end of him at any moment right now. At this point, he's risking serious injury by continuing. I mean, he's getting absolutely torn apart in there. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, it definitely hasn't been working. He's out there in no man's land. And he's got to find a way to get to safety, Cole. I'm not sure he can. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. He's making a statement here with this attack. Boom! 
Oh, nasty impact. elbows over <laughs> and a beautiful technique. performance. Lightning fast reflexes. Ooh. Oh, what a strike to the back. Oh, good night. Sorry. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Arnie dodges out of the way. Dodges the bullet there. He's not looking like himself here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been. But there's a ton of potential risk. This could be trouble, guys. His opponent has finally found an opening, and he doesn't look too eager to relinquish it. He wants no part of the outside. If you're this superstar, you gotta be happy about where you're listed in the recent power rankings.
of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. There's been plenty of chatter about this superstar's injury, but to be honest, I don't know why. It's not like we're talking about a broken leg or anything. Oh, big leg kick! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Corey clearly has little sympathy, but the fact of the matter remains that this superstar climbing into the ring battling an injury, and it would be negligent of us to at least not bring that up. And you never know. There's a very real chance that injury gets aggravated here tonight. That's the risk you take when stepping into the ring with an injury, regardless of its severity. So far, so good, guys. That injury doesn't seem to be negatively impacting the superstar one bit. Big elbow. Ooh, what impact. This might be it. Oh, my. He's pressing all the right buttons down. Michael, I'm not surprised to see the injury be a non-factor here. According to the medical staff, it's absolutely something you can play through, as they say. To even call it an injury might be irresponsible of us. I mean, depending on your definition of injury, you can say that you're playing hurt, edited into every single match of your career. I'm sorry, but it's true. Got the reversal. Oh, the old European uppercut. Wait a minute. Looks like he's starting to falter. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. play. This could do it. What a way to win a singles match. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some. Remember this? I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on fire in this one. Here is your winner, Bram. Strategy fell into place with that victory. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. Let's keep the action rolling along. All bets are off as we get extreme.
making his way to the ring from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 165 pounds, the Extreme Pro Wrestling World Television Champion, Gutierrez Champion. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. Matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Oh my god, guys. Oh, Look no. at this. Oh, do this. Sunset power bomb. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is, Cole. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. inside the ring. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's lining him up. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules match, here he goes. That one. How much more punishment 
needs to be dished out. Just finish it. Wow. This is not what he wants to be at this point in this match. This is all but over. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. New meaning to have a seat. Oh. <laughs> Big time. Oh, slam that hurt. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heat. The tension, the drama, this is electric. Incoming. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. What's he got in mind? What's going to happen now? He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Now in full control. He caught him slipping. What have we got here? Look out here. WWE fans watching this match all around the world. This might be big. This could be dangerous. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. This could be all she wrote. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That changes everything. Oh, what impact. Game six. His shoulders are down. The pinfall and the victory. Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. Almost forgot about this one. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on fire in this one. Here is your winner, Gutierrez. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pin.
pinfall win right there. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. Catch your breath because the next match should be every bit as good. Extreme rules never made a lot of sense because when it's extreme, the rules go right out the window. And we love it. Making his way to the ring from Virginia, weighing in at 297 pounds, the world champion, Mr. Cyclone Red Champion. And tell me, how do you think the champ looks heading into this one? I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion look a little less motivated when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. And his opponent, from Norfolk, Virginia, weighing in at 145 pounds, Psycho! Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff?
And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Beautiful technique. Mercy and that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Back in from the floor. <laughs> Harsh impact. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. trouble now and at this point you have to wonder if he can recover from this the amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane a lesser man would have given up and walked away by now to have a seat. Oh, nasty impact. Tremendous impact. He's getting roughed up pretty bad here. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. He has got to fight back. You hate to give up on a guy, but there may be no way around him taking this loss here tonight. Irish whip. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Super kick. This one's over, guys. in his eye here, folks. He's with the whole impact. That should do it. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. It 
it's over. It's all over. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, Mr. Cyclone Rick. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. If you didn't believe this guy before, there's no reason not to now. Not after that performance. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. Going to be a tall order for the next match to live up to its billing, but I'm optimistic. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. Making her way to the ring from England, the women's now look champion. At this. Uh oh, here we go. The queen, Big Hill. Hey guys, really? Champion. Uh, we knew it wouldn't make it to the ring. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. <laughs> Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. This might be it. Oh my. Oh man. The impact. Beautiful technique. She's taking on some offense here. She doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. This is bad, guys. This match has been trending in the wrong direction for her almost from the opening bell. Look at her go. She might have it. Impressive side slam. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Did you see the impact on that? Wow. Oof. I don't know how much more of this he can take. She may have just hit a wall here. Back in the ring again. No 
she's too quick for her. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding, who knows what'll happen next? She goes for the cover. One, two, three. And you can put this singles match in the books. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. That's a woman on a mission. One thing I can say about that match is that it had a few interesting moments. Very few. Here is your winner, the Queen, Big Hill. And there's your winner here in this singles match. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. Where's this going? I think it's about to be a highlight reel. Look at this. She is on fire. She misses big time there. That had to hurt. Looking at it here. This might be it. Oh, my. He's back in full control now. Well, the salad and appetizers are over, and now it's time for the main course. Hear the crowd? They know it's time for things to get extreme.
making his way to the ring from What's Mexico, going on here? here we go. in at 220 pounds, the Extreme Professional. Oh, the referee needs to get control of this. Yeah, that didn't take long. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this fourth, bang! Thing. Devastating elbow. Drop kick. Beautiful. Vicious strike. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he high tails it through the crowd. Well, he's going with him, Byron. He's starting to feel it here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional uh, approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. He wants no part of the outside. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Oh, nasty impact. He's on his heels. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. But if you're counting him out now, if you haven't been paying attention, he has more resolve than just about anybody on the roster. Drop kick! Great athleticism. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Oh, to tear the features clean off your face. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. And I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. <laughs> Talk about having the living hell beat out of you. I don't recall the last time he looked so fatigued. Guys, I don't think he possesses the ruthlessness needed to be successful outside of the ring, which really begs the question why he's been out there so much. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh, what impact. 
Wait a minute. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. situation guys WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons then you put them in an environment like this and who knows what you're liable to see here he goes incredible drop that has got to be it you get dropped like that you don't get up period Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. No, oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. He goes for the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. It's going to take more than that. Too quick for him there. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is, Cole. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. What's gonna happen here? So God, don't do section. this. Oh gosh. Sunset flip. Oh, oh. Powerbomb. That's it. Back now inside the ring. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this. Oh boy, he is rolling. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what... Oh, my goodness! Beautiful technique. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria. And now, one more time. Oh, man, incredible impact! Here's this moment, Michael. Yeah, talk about a bumpy landing. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted knee. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got to taking place all over the arena complete with every weapon imaginable it's not easy to keep up well I'll try Cole that's what you're getting paid for isn't it oh shows no mercy in that poor chair it looks like a twisted heat Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Up and, and face first, left 
Jack. Harsh impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. like this guys you learn very quickly we big move coming wait for it ddt that's what he was looking for michael he knows he's in trouble that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match guys that could do it let's look at this one more time cole He's got the shoulders down. Two. Regarding Corey's point about Super the singles match has come to an end. Wow. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Yeah, he's putting in the work. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on fire in this one. Here is your winner, L.A. Parker. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply... one is over nobody gets up from that Cole the end may be near incredible impact this one's over guys